YouTube welcome back to another video today we are going to be doing a mid ball fade thank you guys for tuning in now let's get right into it first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to pick out the hair and the reason that we are picking out the hair is in order to give ourselves a clean canvas to work with and make it easier for our clippers to run through so just make sure that it's all picked out and the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with our one and a half guard all the way closed and we're just gonna deball pretty much we're gonna go with the grain and knock down all the hair as evenly as possible and this isn't the final length that we're gonna do but the reason that I'm coming in with a bigger guard is so I can look for any imperfections or any calyx that might be there so that's the reason that I come in with a bigger guard that way I can play it safe so just come in with a bigger guard especially when you're dealing with hair like this and then you could come back behind it with the guard that you really want it to be just knock down all the hair as even as possible look for any calyx any imperfections in the hair anything that might give you trouble later on all right guys now we're going to come in with our trimmers and we're going to set in our bald guideline i like to start my mid ball fade guidelines around the mid section of the c cup and i follow that all the way around the head make sure to try to make this line as even as possible because this is the line that you will be following for the rest of the fade Once you set your guideline in all the way, the next step is we're just going to remove all the bulk underneath of that line. So in this case, I'm using my Babyliss trimmers to come behind it and take out all that hair. Once you've done that, the next step is we're going to come in with our clipper, no guard, all the way open, and we're going to start setting in our next guideline. This guideline, we're going to set it in at about, I'd say a half of an inch up from the first guideline, and we're going to try to keep this one consistent and as even as possible all the way through the head. Just like we set in our bald guideline, we're going to set in this guideline the same way. Try to keep it as even as possible. It doesn't have to be all the way perfect, but the cleaner your guidelines, the cleaner the fade is always going to come out. This guideline I'm coming in with the one guard all the way open but the only difference between the other guideline and this guideline is that I'm coming up about a full inch just to give myself that breathing room to fade this hair out I don't want the 
fade to be compressed so that's why I spread my fade out here and that's to just give me more area to blend through. As well, keep it as even as possible, just like we did the other guideline, and just set these guidelines in as best as you can. They don't have to be perfect, but the cleaner, the better. Comb, cut, comb, cut, comb, cut. And that's so I can lay the hair down. Like I said earlier, when I used the one and a half guard close and I was gonna come behind it, well here I am with the one guard close. And this will be the final size or length that the hair on top will be. This is the desired length. It's a one guard close. So with the grain kinda makes it a one and a half because when you go with the grain, it adds a 0.5 pretty much to, to the guard that you're using. So just keep that in mind, guys. And just knock all the hair down at this stage all the way down to that desired length. If you did find any cowlicks, just remember, cut them in the direction that they're growing as well. guys now that we have our canvas all ready we have our guidelines in we have the desired length on top now we can come in and blend this out I'm fading up a lot of people like to fade down it's your preference I fade up so what I'm doing here is I'm coming in with the gamma ergos all the way close and I'm taking out that bottom line I'm coming right above the first line that we set in and I'm blending that line out Sometimes you're gonna have to come behind it with your trimmers, but in my case, I'm using the Gamma Ergos Zero Gap. So these, these clippers, they take out that bottom line with no effort at all. Once you came in with the clipper all the way closed, then you're gonna come with the clipper halfway open, as you can see as I did there. You're going to come in halfway open and then you're going to come in with the clipper all the way open. So close halfway open. Use that system all the way through your fade. Closed halfway open. As you see here I came in closed then halfway now I'm all the way open and as you can see that guideline is blended out. Sometimes you might have to work a couple spots that you see that are a little darker. Just open and close the lever as needed. Alright guys, so the next step is I'm coming in with my half guard all the way open. And what I'm doing here is I'm pretty much making it, taking off a little bit of that weight that the one and a half left in and blending into that one and a half with the half guard open and with this step I actually like fade down so what I do is I come with the half guard all the way open then I come with the half guard halfway closed and then with the half guard all the way closed in order to take that guideline out and remember guys everyone's got their own way of doing the fades this is just my way showing you guys how I do it and hopefully maybe someone out there can learn and can apply these techniques into their haircuts if I can help someone today that's a blessing for me opened halfway closed 
and once you learn your spots in the guideline you can kind of play with the lever wherever you see those little dark spots and just when you are doing little tiny dark spots that you see remember to use the corners You see me take off the guard and that's to take out the dark spots that the half guard all the way closed couldn't take out. This is the detail work. This is where you're going to set yourself apart and make these blends come in as smooth as possible. The detail work is what sets you apart, so make sure to spend as much time as needed doing the detail work, coming in between guards, switching guards, taking off the guards, using your corners, coming with the green, against the green, whatever you need to do to take out those guidelines and take out the dark spots that you see in the hair. And like I said, don't be afraid to drop the guard if that's what you need to do in order to take that out. Do the same steps on the other side and also in the back. Just like the other side, come in with the no guard all the way closed, and the no guard halfway, and the no guard all the way open until that guideline is out. And then for the next guideline, you're gonna come in with the half guard all the way open, half guard halfway closed, and half guard all the way closed until that line is blended out. And all the extra hair that you see on top, you're gonna come in with the one guard open, one guard halfway, one guard closed, and fade down. After you do that, do your detail work, and bam, that side will be complete. Corners, 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 I can't say it enough. Those corners will help you out so much. If you use the whole blade, you could set in another guideline that you're just gonna have to come up even more and take out later. So, as you can see right there, just use your corners as much as possible in those little dark spots and don't push the fade up because you're using the whole blade or digging in too hard. Just flick, flick, use the corners and try not to dig in. Same steps as the sides, halfway. No guard all the way closed, no guard halfway, no guard all the way open, then half guard open, half guard halfway. Half guard all the way closed, one guard all the way open, one guard halfway, then one guard all the way closed. Then detail work the dark spots with the corners until it's all blended out to your liking. And bam, it's set in, ready to go. As you can see, it's coming out pretty good. Once you're done doing all the detail work and you feel the fade is all the way done to your liking, 
then we can move on into the lineup. See, I'm coming behind it with the trimmer. That's just to take out those little dark spots that I seen where I set the trimmer line in or the bald line. Sometimes you gotta come up, sometimes you gotta come behind it with the trimmers because it's not gonna take that line out. It's really not. So just drop guards, stack your guards, and take that line out. That bottom line is the hardest line to take out because the rest of it kind of just blends in. So just find your way, practice makes perfect, you're gonna get there. Here what I'm doing is I'm coming in with the half guard, halfway close, and I'm coming in right on the hairline because I'm knocking it down a little bit lower in order to set myself up for a clean lining. So the hairline, you always kind of got to knock it down a little bit lower. That way there's no hair standing up. And I'm coming in with the Evos and I'm starting off my line. I start right in the middle, find where I want to go and I move to the left. Then I move all the way to the right and we'll do the vertical bars in the C cup. You wanted them to a point, so we're gonna start out with a point instead of just keeping it further out. Meet the bottom line at the vertical bar, then meet both corners and curve the C cup. Yeah, I kept it natural. I kept it natural as possible. I didn't want to like push him back just to get a dark line. And you know, this client does like enhancements, so you can just come behind it and fill those dark spots in with enhancements upon request, of course. Look, I'm still doing detail work. Shout out to Tune45 for the no drip. Make sure to go on their site, tune45.com. Best enhancements in the business, hands down. Shout out to Chris Bosio on the team over there. Sean Cuts Hair, Get Beamed. Everyone out there, Tune45, big inspiration to me. Salute to you guys. See me using the Broadway Styles business card. <laughs> uh, gotta get me that Sean Cuts Hair Enhancement card. Hey Sean, send me one in the mail, bro. Need that. Coming in with the magic pencil. Shout out to Get Bean for this technique. 
following in with the barber pencil, following the lineup, and we're gonna come behind it and conceal it. Follow the lineup as best as you can, as close as you can, and don't make it super dark. As you can see, I'm coming behind it with the trimmers, and this is more to conceal that magic pencil. And then when you come behind it with the razor, it will fully conceal it and give you that line that you're looking for. And like I said, the enhancements and the magic pencil and things like that are upon request from the client. So you don't just do it on anyone and just think it's what they want. Let them ask for it. Now it's time for that razor work, man. That razor work, man, is my favorite part. It's where you put that line in and it just makes it so crispy. You pull that skin. That way you don't snag the, the skin or cut them. And just bring that thing to life, man. This haircut just came to life for y'all right before your very eyes. setting myself apart freehand the top get all those little straggly hairs and just show your client your attention and detail they will always appreciate it and there you have it guys man that fade is pretty much done if you like this haircut smash the like button show your boy some love until next time, it's your boy Yanni.